Get him on shore, look at you. Fish on, get in there, bait, baby. Welcome to Sportsman's Tradition Outdoors. My name is Kip Polay, AKA Dad. And uh, Bryce and I just got back from hunting from October all the way through January. And we have a lot of meat in the freezer and we have some heads to clean. Bryce is recently taking a liking to doing the Euro mount process. I set him up with all the right stuff and uh, we'll have a video on how he's doing here pretty soon. But today I wanna go and show you my part of all this. What I like to do, uh, the hunt doesn't just end in the field in the harvest. When we bring it home, we like to memorialize it. And you know, like Becky's first deer, I did a really nice little plaque for her out of wood slats and you know, barbed wire and a picture and yeah, it's something special to her and I'm not the greatest guy in the world with wood, but it looks pretty cool. And this one is one that I did for Bryce when he got a deer and a javelina in the same day. And we call it Double Down. Today we're going to try a new process. We've got some wood that we found up in uh, Pine, Arizona. Some beautiful pieces. And we're going to kind of finish the wood. And we're going to show you how to use them, incorporate them in your mounts. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So we get to come home from the hunt and still do things that revolve around the hunt. We're an outdoor family. That's what we do. Enjoy. All right, so let's talk about what we're gonna use today for this project. I'm gonna start off with a hammer and a little screwdriver, maybe a chisel, and I'm gonna get all the loose bark off of the wood. It's gonna fall off anyway as the wood expands and contracts, and, and uh, it's gonna be a lot cleaner job if you get rid of all the loose stuff on the sides. And then on the surfaces, I'm gonna do a three-step process. I'm gonna start with the 80 grit sandpaper, and I'm gonna go over it real good. Then I'm gonna go to 150 grit, and then I'm gonna go to 220 grit for my finish. And then I've got some flappy wheels and one of them's 80 grit and one of them is 220 grit. And I'm just gonna go over the sides where I chip the bark off and bust up anything that's uh, still loose. And once we finish all the sanding, we're gonna clean off the wood real good, blow off any loose dust. And I'm gonna go to the depth, clear wood, finish satin brushing liqueur, which makes it beautiful. You start off with a thin coat, let it dry for a couple hours. You put on another thin coat, let it dry for a couple hours, and you can do that as many times as you feel it needs. Once you like the look, you're done. And then you just go put it to work, hang it on the wall. I just got done cleaning it off and blowing out all the dust out of all the little nooks and crannies and, and I like it. So the trick is to put this on, this finish on in thin layers with this stuff. It's really good. Uh, it's going to look better if you go really thin. Let it sit for two hours, put a thin coat on again and again and again as long as you want to keep going until you like what you see. The last ones I did, I only did two coats and I thought it looked great. So we're gonna start with a nice thin one on this one and see how it looks. You can use a white cloth. It's sometimes easier with all these little divots and everything in here, but I like the brush. Well, first coat's on. Now we gotta let it dry for a couple hours. But it already looks pretty cool. In the end, I did three coats on it and it's a wrap. You don't have to be a skilled woodsman to make these things look pretty good. 
Here's a few ideas of what I might do with them, but none of these are secured yet. They're just sitting on the wood as I think about what I want to do. And in due time, they will become part of the Pole Museum that we call our home as another reminder of a great time spent together in the outdoors. Because after all, that's what it's all about. Take care, y'all.